Thank you for joining us this evening. We're excited to bring you the first of six virtual Boogie Woogie concerts. Cocktail concerts because they're short and they go well with a beverage of your choice. Over the last seven years, Eliel Redstone, Linda Haley, and Wendy DeWitt have produced the San Francisco Boogie Woogie Festival at SF Jazz. They've had the honor of hosting many of the great Boogie Woogie performers from all around the world. But this year, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2020 live concert was canceled. It was decided to produce a series of six virtual benefit concerts featuring the best performances at the festival since its inception, along with artist interviews. Tonight's program features Sylvain Zing, Switzerland's ambassador of Boogie Woogie, and Bob Seely of Detroit. And now, on with the show. Boogie Woogie Blues, it's something you have to listen to. to it, it has, you have to be born with it in your blood. Uh, I think this is the first. You have to have a talent to play it. And uh, I was lucky enough that my father, uh, I think, gave me the talent. Um, my father plays 15 instruments. So in every room at home, <clears throat> in every room we had a musical instrument. And I was listening to him when I was a baby. Probably uh, my mother, she already went to his concerts uh, when, when I was in the, in the, <laughs> in the bell, yeah? yeah? My mother, actually, she bought a piano when she was pregnant with me. And then she prayed every night that she would have uh, a, child, a child that can perform piano. My musical training is actually by hearing, but my mother, she thought uh, I also need some classical training and uh, that I had to go to the classical training. It was not, a, I was not very happy to do that. So she would sometimes uh, really say, now you have to study uh, reading the scores. So yeah, then I had to perform like Dvorak. I remember this humoresque. Yeah, so I did this tune and then one day I went to a music shop and I found a record about Hadda Brooks, the Boogie Woogie Queen. And then I listened, I was reading Humoresque, Boogie. And then the next time, of course, I listened to it and I went to my piano teacher and I show you, I, I, I played it like this. then she was not so happy. <laughs> so uh, I think then my parents stopped paying the classical training and I went uh, on um, by myself with, yeah, with uh, a lot of listening to records and playing along. That's the best way to learn.
very, very nice um, to perform the, yeah, the music you like for people and to make them uh, joy, to spread joy and to see them yeah, dance along to it. And that's very important. Yeah. That's all about this music, actually, how, how it was born. My goal to, 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 attend, uh, to reach the more people I can, to, to show them how fun this music is. And especially to young kids, because uh, they, uh, if they listen only what the older brother listens, then they would listen to this hip hop or whatever uh, electronic music. So it's important that they hear where the music comes from. This is the roots of music, so where everything started actually. Blues is, I think, um, and Boogie Woogie, the, the start of everything. From there came uh, rock and roll, from, from rock and roll, rock and so on.
This is Silvan Singh from South Switzerland. Yes, from Lugano. I am uh, very glad to be here with you for a couple of minutes. We have not easy times, 2020. What's going on with the world? Huh? <laughs> Everybody has his own idea. Well, I was making some live concerts during this time. We had to stay home during this lockdown during this quarantine, during this corona boogie time, I was doing some live on Facebook, on Instagram, and well, um, it's it what's, what, what is going on now? A uh, lot of concerts are cancelled, like yours, and um, my festival was also cancelled. Uh, wow. Yeah, after 25 years of professional playing, it's the first time I'm at home for three months. First time, never happened. Great, anyway, let's go further, let's go stronger, let's go united, let's go with music. We can, we can just go for better times. I'm very glad if I can do it with a little blues for you. So, this is a little blues for you, just improvising. living room to your living room all the best to you let's see each other very soon Silvan Zing bye bye musicians around the world have been very hard hit by the COVID pandemic no gigs no tours no income so please if you're able help support our talented musicians and the festival with a donation using PayPal use the PayPal button on our screen and thank you so very much
Hey, how do you like Boogie Woogie, huh? <laughs> you know, I, that Boogie Woogie, I, I lived through the era of when Boogie Woogie came on. I'm 88 years old. So, <laughs> what's good about that? You know? <laughs> I lived down in Florida, Holmes Beach. They call it God's waiting room. But, uh, <laughs> you know, what can you do? But uh, I grew up and I saw all the, these three guys who were fabulous boogie woogie piano players. There's Mead Lux Lewis, Albert Ammons, Pete Johnson, and they were the genius of boogie woogie. They were fantastic. And I was playing classical until I heard those guys. <laughs> and uh, I got to know one of the most famous guys was Mead Lux Lewis. And he wrote a tune, it's called the Honky Talk Train Blues. And John Hammond was a guy who heard it and he had lots of power, so he was, he was doing a Carnegie Hall show with a lot of uh, these uh, African-American musicians and he got Mead Lux Lewis in there to do his. And from there on, the Boogie Woogie became America's most popular music. And now it is America's most forgotten music. So we're not gonna let it go down. We're gonna do, do the Boogie Woogie. And I think I'll uh, start out with this Honky Tonk Train Blues because it has a very difficult bass and, uh, you know, I only have so much energy, so, you know, <laughs> I can do it. You know, you ever have like a hangnail, you know, it hurts? I got one right in my left hand. You know, it's okay in the right. But, uh, so I just told you that so you give a little sympathy for me to try to get, get through these things. But, uh, so, Mead Lux Lewis, I, I met him, and uh, this is, as I mentioned before, this comes from the blues. It's called Happy Blues. I call it Happy Blues. And the blues, of course, comes from the African-American people. And I got to know Mead Lux uh, very well. And uh, I would like to play a number now that's gonna be typical of the way Mead Lux Lewis played. And I will just compose it right here. How's that? Just make it up, you know? <laughs> By the way, uh, my name is Bob Seeley and I have no connection with uh, the Seeley Mattress Company. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm here, you know?
Most of this music, you know, was uh, invented by uh, African Americans, and a lot of it comes out of uh, the black church. I don't know if you've ever been to a black church, but whenever I go to church, it's a black church <laughs> because it's, it's just great the way they do it, and it's all rhythmic, you know. And, and every time I've come out of a black church, all I can say is, wow, that's really, it's really great.
music will keep going. It'll always be here. It might not be always be the the uh, the most uh, sought after music. It's, it's, I call it America's forgotten music, although they they're doing it in in Europe. And uh, the Europeans can feel the the freedom of of that this music, you know, and and the the push to it, how it's going on, and so on. Fantastic players, you know, and I'm amazed. I'm saying, gee, this. this they're all over Europe, these guys, you know, and they're, they're, they're terrific. And uh, so that's got to say something about the music. You know, there's, there's something, that, that, something in that music that grabs people, and it certainly grabbed them over there. And I, I, uh, I would bet, guess that there must, must be a boogie-woogie piano player in Japan and uh, maybe in China and elsewhere. Because once they hear it, these piano players, they go for it. And they're really good. If anybody knows what we're doing, let me know. <laughs>
we'd like to thank our sponsors, our board of directors, our volunteers, and our video editor who made this evening possible. These concerts are dedicated to the memory of Herbert Wolfram, who lived a life of joy, creativity, and the love of dance and music. He and his beloved wife, Sandra Shepard, were enthusiastic and generous supporters of the festival. Thank you.